Well, I used to just be a retail sales clerk and a mom, and I was a preschool art teacher. And occasionally I would do community murals. But then my husband got sick, and he was hospitalized on March 25th of 2009. And during that process, we became very frustrated that we couldn't get access to his medical records. And as his disease progressed and he became more and more sick, we realized how incredibly important it was to know what was going on. So I went down to medical records to ask for a copy of his complete medical record. And they told me that it would be 73 cents per page and a 21 day wait. And this is while he was hospitalized. And one of the core ways things could have changed is if we could have had timely access to electronic medical record. And I love what Meaningful Use does to promote that. And I love what Health Vault and systems like that are trying to do. They're trying to make that data available to patients and their families. We're looking for new ways to allow our patients to continue to feel connected and for us to be able to meet their needs between their visits to Mayo Clinic. So we launched in April 2009 the Mayo Clinic Health Manager, which is a health application that sits on the Microsoft Health Vault platform. And the application is intended to help families stay healthy and um, know when they're due for any preventive services or how they should be caring for themselves with chronic conditions. One of the biggest values for us from the Microsoft Health Vault is the Microsoft Connection Center and the ability for patients to have a choice in home monitoring devices and then for the health manager then to be able to take that information and apply logic and rules to it and then provide guidance from that. It's really being able to look at what are the domains of a person's life that they need to have an integration of all of their chronic conditions or if they're healthy into one recommendation. So it's really providing that person-centric view. The reason that Mayo Clinic partnered with Microsoft on this application is that we both had a shared vision of really assisting families in maintaining and improving their health. 75 million Americans have high blood pressure uh, it's a pervasive uh, uh, health factor, and it's one of those things that's very hard to treat in the clinical environment. The solution from our point of view was Heart360. We created uh, Heart360 so that it has a patient portal on the front end where the uh, user can enter data, blood pressure, glucose, weight, these kinds of things, physical activity track that and visualize that over time, and then share that uh, with a doctor. So there's a provider portal as well. And on that side of it, the doctor can recognize and see their patients. They can group them. They can manage them through exception management tools. And they can create reports and send them messages back and forth. And so it gives the patient a real easy way to engage with their health. Heart360 is built on Microsoft Health Vault. Uh, uh, Microsoft Health Vault is the foundation of what we're doing, and we really appreciate part of its fundamental underpinning, which is that it's for the patient. It is the patient's data. It is not being able to be manipulated by others. Patients can share that in a way that's very uh, specific to their needs and interests, and that's something that's very important to us. Live Healthier provides services to employers and employers purchase our service and provide it as a benefit at no cost to their employees and to their employees' families. The biggest problem that HealthVault helps us solve is in order for individuals really to make a meaningful change in their behavior towards their health, they have to take ownership and accountability of their health status. An individual can come to a health fair, they can answer the pre-screening questions, they can get their blood pressure taken, a finger stick for their blood, they can get their glucose numbers, their cholesterol numbers, and we can take that electronically and immediately make it available on the platform. And once it's on the Live Healthier platform, it's automatically synced with the user's consent into their Microsoft Health Vault account. In this day and age, people stay with employer groups for a certain amount of time and then they go to another job. They can decide to take their health data and put it into Microsoft Health Vault and know that they'll always have the ability to reference that information, to store it, 
And if they consent to, share it with other people in their lives that are involved with their health decision-making processes, whether it's a physician or a pharmacist or a family member or perhaps even a friend. The way Microsoft Health Vault plays a role with our applications is they're a critical piece because they are a very large database that allows patients to have their information in one place. So when you look at Health Vault and you understand from a perspective that it's also free, individuals don't have to pay anything to have their information stored in one place. And we're able to inter interoperate with that Health Vault tool to pull data out and render it to the patient in a way that's usable and very you know, beneficial to them, well, that makes a magnificent combination. So Health Vault, with the ability to allow people to build applications on top of their product, has allowed a wealth of information to be able to get out to the patient directly. What we need now is to encourage, to invite the patients and their families to be full and complete members of uh, their care and their health. Health is more important than health care. It's sort of late when it gets to health care, so we really need to provide the tools, the engagement, the social networking, if you'll allow me, uh, for people to become more healthy together.